Today, ship traffic is responsible for 2.7% of the world's CO2 emissions, and container vessels are due to the high speed responsible for a great part of this. A standard container ship consumes approximately 175 tons of fuel per day, and therefore a minor reduction in the fuel consumption will result in an economical profit for the ship owner. Likewise, an environmental uh, benefit is obtained. Today, the hull of the ship is highly optimized, but looking at pictures of container vessels, it is obvious that not much is done to reduce the drag caused by the wind. The aim of this project has been to add constructions to an existing container ship. We have limited our investigations to three different focus areas, which is constructions on the bow of the ship, constructions at the stern of the ship, and coverage of the gaps between the containers. The shapes of these constructions have been um, made from previous investigations within this field and our knowledge of fluid mechanics and aerodynamics. Weight, cost and easiness of implementation has also been taken into consideration. In order to verify reduction in drag, uh, tests were carried out in wind tunnels. We did some introductory experiments at DTU uh, using a uniform uh, wind profile uh, testing many of these different constructions. However, in this uh, introductory experiment, we did only test for one container configuration, which is the fully loaded ship, and we did only have the possibility of testing for a flow angle of zero degrees. We did further experiments at force technology using a non-uniform flow profile, which uh, was a boundary layer profile. We did this on four different constructions for the bow of the ship uh, and in combination with eight different container configurations and flow angles varying from 0 to 40 degrees. What we found was that adding a construction to the bow of the ship can as well increase as decrease the wind-induced drag on the ship. And we also found that it was not profitable to um, uh, implement this construction on the bow of the ship on an unloaded ship and it, it was as well not profitable on a uh, partially loaded ship. However, our results show us that for a fully loaded ship it is possible to reduce, reduce the drag by 5% on average. And by optimizing the windscreen in, by, for example, numerical simulations, it might be possible to get a reduction of 10% on average. This corresponds to a fuel saving of 360 and 720 tons of fuel a year, and payback times of 3.2 and 1.6 years of cost of implementing the windscreen. More detailed data of the wind conditions at sea and of the actual container configurations would enable us to give more detailed answers. Thank <laughs> you.